Good morning, Paige. Hi, Jim. Good morning. Uh, so I want to talk to you about this vulnerability that was recently released on uh, iOS. Did you see this? this huge I did. Huge, huge. And I'm actually glad we're talking about this. It's because if you haven't updated yet, I want to, I want to learn more about this. Yeah, that's, and that's the key thing if you haven't updated yet. So a lot of people have their phone set to not auto update. They want to control the updates, which, hey, I, I get it. Everybody wants to have control over what's going on on their phones. But in this particular case, it could come back to bite them because this particular vulnerability is a zero click vulnerability. And oftentimes we'll talk about zero day vulnerabilities, meaning it's a new vulnerability, there's no patch available, which means it just sucks to be you, criminals are actively exploiting it, there's nothing you can do about it. A zero click vulnerability means that if you are targeted, you don't have to click on anything, you don't have to open anything, you don't have to do anything at all, you will just be compromised. And that's you just have a device. You yeah, just, you just, yeah, you just, just it's being alive. Part of owning the device. Okay. That's yeah. it. And that's what's so scary about this one right now. Um, they, it is actively being exploited. It was a zero day, meaning there wasn't a patch in the beginning. There is now. And criminals could literally, using iMessenger, send you a message and just receiving it, your phone would be infected. Um, terrifying. Jeez. Super terrifying. And yeah. most importantly, if this update just came out in the last couple of days. If you have not updated your phone uh, in the last few days, update it. I mean, like, stop watching this video, hit stop, and just hit update because. Come back, though. Come, yes, come back. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> um, even though you really got everything you needed already, you can pretty much just right. move on now. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's that critical. And it's, you know, vulnerabilities are, are out there, but zero click vulnerabilities, they're rare. On mobile devices, they're even more rare, which makes this one really, really scary and really, really dangerous. Um, so you should you should be okay. aware of that. No. That is, I'm so I'm glad you brought it up. I really um, anybody with an Apple device, I mean, needs to update it ASAP. But what happens? You had mentioned, okay, they got a messenger, a message or something like that. What happens or to a, an infected phone? Do you know what? Uh, now that the, the genie's out of the bottle, everybody knows about it there is going to be an unlimited number of different uh, payloads that are gonna be loaded on these things. And it's just, it's gonna happen very, very rapidly. Cause as we know nowadays, once criminals know about something, they don't wait weeks, months, years, no. it's hours until they're starting to write their own version. And it leads to something else. So oftentimes people come to me and they'll say, hey, so what can I do to make sure my phone is crazy secure? And I always go, ah, your phone's probably fine. You know, don't, don't worry. Don't install malicious apps and, and you'll probably be okay. But I realized, especially after this latest one, that, that there is stuff you can do. I never talk about it because I think it's kind of drastic. But are you familiar with something called lockdown mode that's on your phone? No, I'm not. Most people are not. Apple provides something called lockdown mode. And lockdown okay. mode does exactly that. It locks your phone down at a crazy level. Now, I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how you can enable lockdown mode on your phone. And again, you can turn it on and then later you can turn it back off if you don't like it or if it's bugging you. But it's at least nice to know it's available because if nothing else, if you ever hear about a zero click vulnerability in the future where there's no patch available, you might wanna temp temporarily put your phone into lockdown mode until a patch comes out. So, okay, so, so here's the steps, and I'm gonna look at my screen so I don't miss any here, and I'll, I'll probably okay. show a little example on here, or maybe I won't, who, who knows. Uh, you go to the uh, settings app, you know, so open I'm up do, settings yeah, app. Yeah, I'm gonna do this as we're, as we're chatting. Okay, settings. Okay, perfect. And, and then type uh, privacy and security. You know, mm -hmm. tap in. And then go under the security tab, lockdown mode, and you'll see the little lockdown mode option there. Do you see that? Yes, I do. So I like when you go to lockdown mode, it says lockdown mode is an extreme optional protection that should be should only be used if you believe that you may be personally targeted by a highly sophisticated cyber attack. Um, which in my mind, everybody should believe that. In this I day know. And age. Um, I know, right? So but the fact that there's this option on here is fantastic. 
Yeah, and it is it is intrusive. Once you start playing with it, you'll see it'll start blocking things. Now, I'm not going to get way in the weeds, but there is even ways, like let's say that it's too intrusive on one of the apps. You even have the ability to go in and on specific apps say, don't use lockdown mode on this app, but use it on everything else. So if you find it's being too much of a nuisance on one thing, but you want to use it for everything else, you can still do that. Um, just look it up online. There's plenty of instructions on how to work with lockdown mode for yeah. everybody out there. Awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. So that, that's all I got on this one. I mean, ultimately, just be aware, zero day and zero click vulnerabilities are out there. You mm -hmm. always want to keep up with the latest updates. I know uh, sometimes you worry whenever Apple or even Android pushes out a new update because you go, oh, I wonder if it's going to break my phone. I'll wait and see if it breaks other people's phones before I allow it on mine. I, I totally understand. But just know when you wait, sometimes you're missing out on important security updates as well. Great. Great information as always. Thanks, Jim. You bet. Have a lovely day. You too. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and just fill them out in the comments. I read every comment that's posted, and I'll be happy to either make a video answering your questions, or I might just message you directly to get you the information you need. Have a great day.